Nothing good ever comes from self-judgment. Nothing good comes from judgment, especially not self-judgment. Too many people are caught up in the analysis paralysis of judgment of self and others and being caught up judging whether it's self or others is what distracts people's energy and focus from manifesting and bringing forth and being who God has created them to be, living the path and receiving the blessings that go with all of the possibilities that most people see as problems that have been put into your path to make you more resilient, to make you stronger, to get you better, to make you faster, more intelligent, more capable for the next thing. But most people, instead of pressing into the adversity that hits their life, just like when I'm out here filming and there's a sirens going off, I don't care, good. Most people, instead of pressing into the adversity that God has put into their life to make them stronger, instead of pressing into that and getting the upgrades through going through the process of hard work, consistent persistence, a tenacious work ethic, instead of doing that, most people get caught up in this realm of self-judgment and analysis paralysis, overanalyzing, why did I do this? What if that would have happened there? This, that, and the other thing, and they are totally oblivious to the fact that everything is happening for them. It is a divine design from the grand creator of all, and that nothing good comes from self-judgment. And the fastest way to get past self-judgment is a superpower called forgiveness. Because when we ask for forgiveness from the creator, it is granted instantly. And if we desire to receive forgiveness for our wrongdoings and our sins, then we must forgive others when they ask for it. Because eternal truth says, how I do anything is how I do everything. So if I ask for forgiveness and expect to receive it, then I must be willing to give forgiveness when others ask it and expect to receive it. So the fastest way to end self-judgment is to ask for forgiveness from above, from the grand creator of all, which is granted instantaneously as soon as it's asked for, and then to make sure to forgive yourself. Seriously, even just saying the words out loud, I forgive you, James. Hey man, you were doing the best you could with what you had at whatever time that was in your life. You were dealing with whatever hectic insanity that was before you, and you're still here, buddy. And I forgive you, man. I forgive you for any wrong that you did. And I release those old unhealthy decisions and that old unhealthy pathway. And I just bring you forgiveness, James. Even right now saying that with you guys, it's causing like an emotion inside of me. It's causing an emotional release because I feel forgiven. And it's just helped me shed another layer of self-judgment and self-condemnation you see guys the way the enemy works is he works to get us into that self-judgment and self-condemnation space so he can lie to us in secret get us to believe those lies and then get us to not share those lies with anybody else and when in doing so that's how he gets us off our path it's just a slight deviation up the line that weeks, months, years from now, we are way off track. It's the same thing if you looked at a train, right? A train that's on a track, it's got a specific mission, a specific track to drive on. If that train were to deviate just a fraction of a degree from that track, eventually the train would come off the track. But up here, it doesn't look like much. It just looks like a little teeny deviation and maybe it'll straighten itself out. And that's how the enemy works inside of our mind by sending us negative thoughts, by attacking us, by trying to get us to believe the lies that he tells within. The best thing to do is to confess it externally. Say it to a friend, especially another fellow Christ follower, and they will instantly be able to tell you, oh man, that's a lie. Don't believe that, that's a lie. So I just wanna encourage you guys to put down the hammers of self-judgment. You know, there's a, there's a line in the Don Miguel book, The Four Agreements, where he says that, you know, humans, humans are the only creature that punish themselves a thousand times 
for the same offense. Humans are the only creature that punish themselves and others a thousand times for the same offense. So what have you been punishing yourself for over and over again? Let it go. Ask God for forgiveness and then forgive yourself. If you feel so called to ask anybody else that was involved in those instances to forgive you. And guess what? It doesn't matter if they forgive you or not. It just matters that you ask for the forgiveness and then the burden's on their life, not on yours. And you forgive yourself and you say it out loud that you forgive yourself and you are forgiven. Whatever it is that you've been harboring resent towards yourself over, forgive yourself. Whatever you've been harboring resent towards others, forgive them. And move on with your life. Forgiveness is a superpower and it is the number one, number one superpower that will rocket ship your life forward in terms of your momentum and your trajectory because it is a superpower and it clears out the energy centers and it takes things off of our track of focus, which as you guys know, wherever we focus, energy follows. So let's focus up on being here in the present moment. Let's focus up on reminding ourselves of all of the wins that we've been blessed with in our lives. And let's focus up on that future vision God has given us, given us of where we know we are going and who we are becoming in Christ. We have all been assigned with a divine identity and a divine purpose and truth and promises spoken over our lives before we were brought into existence. So let's all live to those today and end self-judgment. Let's pray together, friend. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this awesome message today on ending self-judgment. Lord God, we seek forgiveness. God, please forgive us of our sins, Lord. And we know in this moment we are released of our sins. And God, we forgive ourselves of those sins too, and we harbor no resent. And we forgive others of sins, Lord God, and we harbor no resent. So God, continue to lift our vision higher. Speak to us clearly, Lord, in our calling, in our purpose, in our identity, Lord God. Encourage my friend, Lord God. Help them to feel a tangible presence of your love today and every day in their life, Lord. Continue, continue building them into the leader that you created them to be that leads by example for all others around them, Lord. Father, we love you most and I love my neighbor as myself. Bless my friend, bless my friend, bless my friend, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree and declare. Amen, hallelujah. Be blessed and be a blessing. I love y'all. Get to work, relief the self-judgment, and always shine brighter.